feel like are you on manual focus? You're a little out of focus for sure. Unless mm. Maybe, mm. unless it's just because my screen it looks like that. But that I feel thing? like it looks a little better now though, for sure. You like that? Yeah. Mark. Yes. Ten thousand subs. I've been waiting for this day for a long time, actually. It's quite the it's quite the memory. <laughs> But it it's is. not as good as Metacritic, okay? It's not as good as Metacritic. All right, That's Metacritic. for Todd B. Todd B. asked if uh, what was more significant, Metacritic or uh, 10K yeah. subs. And and we decided collectively that uh, Metacritic was better. Yeah, it's just like but once you've been doing it for I, a while. I will say I will say this, that um, when we hit 1,000 subs, our like... Our big dick energy from from that point was the same <laughs> as when we hit 10k subs. Like it didn't change. We always we we always carried this like we're fucking noisy pixel, you know, like attitude. Like even with True. even when we had 1,000 subs, like what? Uh, this person won't give us a game. Do they know we have 1,000 subs? But now it's like it's it's. It hasn't changed, you know. We've always had this like mindset where um, the sub count didn't really matter in terms of what our output was. It never matched our output, and that kind of leads me into: um, Do you remember when we weren't monetized for two years? <laughs> yeah, we were like posting on Twitter, like, "Can you guys get us monetized, please, Google? Please, <laughs> uh, please, Master Google." It's good now that we are. It's good now. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, once you start working for. Um, just in the zone for YouTube for so for so long, it just becomes like mindless, you know. So once we had 10k, it's nice and cool, but it's nothing like actually. It's not. It doesn't actually mean anything. It just has an extra zero. So it just looks pretty. Metacritic is a lot actual actually cooler and more substantial in our um, what we're trying to do here. But um, YouTube think, is just. Uh, I think in the influencer on the way ring, in the influencer world, I guess I should say. Um, subs subs do matter and i think uh i think that confuses us with influencers but we're definitely more on the the journalist side of things coming at things a little more uh critically and for a for a, a general audience and not a specific like in-depth audience like there there are channels that that do provide that but i think we um we're just providing a do I want to buy this game kind of review? Like here's, here's the features and here's what this person yeah. thinks about it. And here's how it looks in execution. Um, we don't go too nerdy into it. We don't, we, it's mostly for like, if you're on the, on the edge of like whether you should buy the game or not, or if you want to know a little more about it, that's, that's what we provide. If you don't want to buy the game, I doubt our reviews are going to change your mind. <laughs> like yeah, I think we say like if you don't want it, you don't want it. Um, if you do want it, then you already know you want it. You know, it's like it's like those people in the middle. That's what we're trying to direct towards. Like, oh, should I get it? Should I not? Yeah, um, maybe that need the push over the edge. I think we stay true to our brand. I think we offer, you know, what we offer for now. I think um, I would like eventually for us to be not stagnant in this. I think this is just like a now thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I think Noisy Pixel is ever changing, and eventually we'll probably see ourselves doing other things mm -hmm. other than what we're doing now. But for now. We're kind of riding that, um, you know, niche that we have, and we're producing videos in the time that we want, and the with the amount of information, because there are people that make forty minute reviews out there, and I don't think that's us right now. I just I don't see who watches those forty minute reviews. I could see if like maybe you're you just want to play you just play games all the time, and you you kind of want constant something playing in the background. I think that's what gamers do i remember when i was i was younger um there was this thing called justin tv do you remember justin tv sounds familiar but now i'm not actually familiar uh twitch twitch bought it up a long time ago but it was basically twitch um before twitch and people would stream shows like someone would just stream simpsons for 24 7 um they would just kind of mirror it and then put it on so so back in the day that's how i ingested my content and that's how i kind of discovered like internet stuff like angry video game nerd and like screw tech 
the videos. You're still watching those, would, man. Someone would literally stream it 24 seven on a PC and just have it up and streaming um, all the time, which uh, kind of cool. So I would have that playing 24 seven while I was doing stuff, writing live journal posts or whatever I was doing. Um, but I can imagine that gamers now it's like when they're gaming on their PC on their second monitor, they need this constant like talking and stuff. So these 40 minute videos of these people that they enjoy watching, I think it, I think it works for them. So I can kind of see. Yeah, it. I see that. I, I just don't uh, think no one wants to hear my voice yeah. <laughs> for 40 minutes talking about how much I like bathing suit DLC. <laughs> <laughs> There's someone out there maybe, but um, no, I see your point for sure. You know, I think we'll find our place maybe eventually there, but for now you keep doing what you're doing, my man. Yeah, I think uh, we can't, we can't allow ourselves in terms of YouTube, um, not the website, but in terms of YouTube, so we're not going to allow ourselves to become like uh, stagnant on doing the same thing and relying on that to grow. We, we do know that we have to make more to kind of reach a different audience. And I think in 2021, we do have plans. Um, on different shows and different things that people can subscribe to us for outside of the realm of our reviews. You know, COVID, uh, COVID changed some, changed some lives. This is a 2020. So hopefully. COVID um, fucked us up, dude. Like in yeah. all honesty, we had so many good plans for like anime expo and E3. We we're going to do the, do this huge, like, uh, like a uh, video anniversary for, for us. And yeah, we just lost like everything unique kind of throughout the year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, our Boston video was the last like big thing that we were all together in. Last it's year. Sad. It's sad. We can't do the retro pixel anymore. I don't know. It just, it did really mess things up. But we'll we'll get to creating more original stuff outside of the realm of reviews and previews. Um, But it's cool to have 10,000 people think that we're worthy enough to yeah to people add uh description list we have enough people to give me a dislike you know yeah <laughs> <So they're> like, <laughs> like mark sucks one percent of subscribers hate mark you know i would i would think that considering some of our viewpoints and stuff we'd get more dislikes but we don't we're I think we're just the nerds that everyone's comfortable listening to you know we're not gonna hate we're not haters unless you hate mm-hmm. you know Haters gonna hate, and then we hate back. But if you ain't hating, we're open for con- you know. That's the noisy brain. You know, we just want to talk. We just want to have a conversation. But it's those people that uh that don't want to have a conversation. You know, that just want to uh, attack. But that's just the internet. Um, and we are more susceptible to that as we grow. You know, so I'm quite interested to see how life unfolds. You know, going forward, the more people we have sub, the more uh, comments we will get, sir. Are you does a bad does a bad comment ever leave um like does it ever stay in your head when you see a bad comment about something does that ever does that ever it stays in my you? head more in if someone in person like if i hear things in my life you know than a comment because a comment people have really no understanding for the most part of like any background other than what's presented to them mm-hmm. so i kind of see like all right this guy just has way too much time and he's bored and he's just like all right He's just typing because I don't know. He has too much time in his hands. But in, in person, like you just if you hear something that like about you or something that like kind of gets to me a little bit, you know, I'm just like, huh, you know, perception. Well, in person, it's easier to have that dialogue, too, where you can clearly explain yourself in writing. It's it's a lot harder to to hit on every point that you need to be like, OK, well, this person's wrong. But how do our how do I write in words that he's wrong? And do I want to take that time out of my day <laughs> to explain to him that he's wrong, or just say whatever, nerd? <laughs> like, <laughs> what's easier? <laughs> Put it on a shirt, man. Trust me, noisy shirts will happen, and we're gonna have beautiful quotes on there. I predict the future. Yeah, we we definitely looking at like uh, <laughs> kind of shirts and stuff, especially especially when the event seasons come along and we can maybe hang out with everyone a little more. If you guys do end up going to like Anime New York or uh, Anime Expo or those other events, we'll PAX. We're we're planning on going to PAX for the rest of the year. Yeah, um, maybe one day someone will uh, know who we are in person, other than our friends. You know, someone yeah. random. 
Yeah. Be like, yeah, what's oh, this Oreo? Is he Pixel? No, he's what? Pixel? Well, we were at Pax East last year, and I, I, I it was a pretty big place, and I walked in next to my brother, you know? So he was there uh, doing his own thing, and I passed him. So I feel like, you know, it's very easy to just, like, spot someone. And if I feel like if that happened, then someone who likes us could find us one day, just one, just one yeah. person. Just say hi. It would make – it would mean the world to us. <laughs> I, feel like, I would – I would – I would fucking <sighs> – I would revive my live journal and write a post about it. Uh, about how someone said hi to us uh one time it happened at i but it wasn't for me it was for the website that i was writing for at the time operation rainfall and i was at e3 i think it was my first e3 and some guy's like oh your operation rainfall because they'll say it on your badge and i was like yeah and he's like thank you for bringing uh xenoblade chronicles over that's so <laughs> cool and I was like, dude, I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> you should have been like, thanks, man. Bubble. I thanks, was like, dude. I really appreciate it, but I personally had nothing to do with that. <laughs> uh, he That's... liked he liked his nerdy uh, self. His face like... just dropped. <laughs> yeah, he's like, <laughs> oh, man, I thought I met someone of worth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, You're just dude. another scumbag, you know? <laughs> uh, no, that's like the, um, that's like the big thing that i got in my uh career but um but yeah if you ever see us around at any events do do stop us and do talk well the next one is uh is pax pax in june damn we're going to boston baby back to boston i think we're gonna have a better idea of how to navigate that area and Mm -hmm. uh, i don't know i always think the second time is a lot better than the first time because True. one, we're not going to get an Airbnb with rats infested. <laughs> there, was, there were no rats in there. <laughs> there was definitely rats. Or mice. No. Sorry, mice. I don't know. Maybe. It was kind of, cool. <laughs> it was kind of a cool place. Uh, I mean, it worked for us. It did what it had to do and it had fast. Yeah, it was fun. That, I don't that's mind. All I had, that's all I asked for. It was, good it was a good time. It, was, uh, it couldn't have been any more crammed. Like, they literally put... Like you can imagine, maybe that you could take four steps of open space, and then everything yeah. else in the room was just beds next beds. to each other. <laughs> there was like no space that's, to live. <laughs> that's our noisy pixel budget. Is yeah, okay. We could all go to uh, to Boston, guys, and we could pay for it. But we all have here, to cram in a box. Like <laughs> yeah, here's the thing: we're all gonna be in one room where the floor is literally beds. <laughs> <laughs> we did a podcast on the floor. <laughs> Uh, I I remember I brought in these um these nose strips for the snores, and oh I think God. I think the snores got a little offended by that, but I'm only doing it to help the room, you know. Like <laughs> maybe dude, help you. I know. Can't assume I have that problem. I can I sleep through snores. That you're mad that like I'm calling you out on your snores, but help a brother out, you know. <laughs> Truth. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, can you do this? Look at look at this. Ready? Mm-hmm. No. On every finger, I can do it. That's weird. That's a nice skill, though. It's like the worm. <laughs> <laughs> Diverging the conversation with weird body movements. Thanks for showing me. <laughs> you know, it See? actually messes up guitar playing. Like I'll be playing, and then I'll, like my finger will like lock up. Like because it's like not supposed to do that, and it does. So, you've been practicing guitar a lot lately. I've just been playing it. I just been enjoying life a little bit more in that realm. Lucky, lucky. I mean, you can. It's just like five minutes at a time usually. You know what I've been doing? I've been uh, I've been coming up on my promise to read more manga. So I have some manga reviews coming up. Kind of cool. Is it only for reviews, or are you actually going to read manga for not a review? For funsies? No way. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do anything for funsies. I hear anymore. that. Yeah. What, what is fun? Everything is like content. How am I going to write it? I'm, I'm planning a few features for next week after some reviews. I have, I have them all written out and um, yeah, we're just, I, I, I can't, I think in content. I, I don't do anything. I think in content. That's a great, it's great. I feel like um, I kind of like, I don't leave my house unless I'm working. My like side activity has been uh, running. I, I signed up for a marathon in November. My battery is low. We'll, we'll wrap this up. You see it, boys? Yeah, and girls. we all see it. We all see it. Um, 
I'm planning a. I signed up for a marathon in November, so that's like my like side activity, I guess. Is that I'm your marathon? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's like next level stuff. I'm surprised. I didn't think that would ever come out of your mouth. Yeah, I, I, I have to. I coronavirus made me set these like goals because I didn't have any like personal goals. I had like noisy pixel goals. I had relationship goals, but I had life goals, but I didn't have any like personal like. Is there a reason like you're running and not like doing push ups or something like muscle? Like I, you're just trying to slim down? Like, do you need to lose weight? Like, I just don't, I, I don't like the, the, I don't, I've always been upper body strong. I've always had muscles on my upper body. Um, but my, I just, I, I think I like the cardio of it all. Um, but I, I mean, I, I do, I do. I do put in some like I do uh, squats and push ups and pull ups, but I mean, not as much as running. Damn, because like uh, running is a whole hour a day I, I take to, to run and uh, we'll see if I can get that uh, that marathon. How many miles? Twenty four point twenty six point two. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my goal is to do uh, 12 miles in an hour and a half, and then I'll just chill the rest of the way. For like, I'm trying to get under four hours. The whole marathon, under four hours. Good luck, sir. When is that? Summer? November. Until November. Wow. I only got nine, ten months to train. Yeah, I'm at, I'm at about 10 miles now. Before you pass out? Uh yeah, because I don't bring water with me. I have a lot of issues. Um, but uh, but I like listening to music, so it gives me time to listen to new music too. And that's that's what I've been doing on the side of like noisy pixel, just trying to get my head out of the the video games and get me out of the world. It, it's it's very easy to just sit here all day and work on the website. I can I can do it. I would love to do it. Um but I need to force myself to kind of get out and um, do something else. Uh, yeah. Got to get the heartbeat pumping mm -hmm, mm -hmm. every once in a while. But yeah, mm -hmm. like my battery is going to annoy everybody on the screen. So I think we should take one comment and wrap it up. Do you have a comment? I don't even have it up. I don't either, but I'm, well, I have it up now. Well, uh, the first one is mommy girlfriend one. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah so, so the resident evil girl there's this uh there's this new uh there's this new character in resident evil who's this tall woman and she's like dressed in white and she's all pale but she's really tall and everyone's t asking her to step on them and like uh just be their mommy and dom oh, them and just I, I, see. Them. I don't know <laughs> so I don't know a, what the sexual are. thing there i see Whatever your kink is, I mean, if you like being, if you like being stepped on, you know, no harm, no foul. I have another comment here. This is on my video, the one I just released with my headset uh, that I'm wearing, the review. But he's like, mic test question mark. I'm like, bro, it's you didn't in there. Watch it. You didn't <laughs> it's watch in the there, video, dude. dude. It's like, what do you want? Like, you you can't text about a mic test. Like, what do you want me to say? It's good. You want to hear it? <laughs> you, you want me to give you my number i'll call yeah. you <laughs> <laughs> like it's in there dude that's it and that's all i have to say about that about all right all right let's wrap it up thank yeah. you so much for the ten thousand subs oh my god uh, battery really appreciate it thank you uh for everything we'll see you next week and uh yeah be safe onward to twenty thousand. really a hundred thousand i don't really care hundred thousand hundred thousand but yeah see ya